How's it going? So I'm actually here, of all things, I'm at a, uh, at a hotel somewhere in Henderson. Still trying to figure out the area, but. Um, <clears throat> so I've been doing Weight Watchers for the last six weeks. And I've gone to, I think I've gone every week except for our move week, because let's just say it was impossible to fit in. Um, the way in but uh during that week but um a lot of times now so back in the day with weight watchers i have a kind of a long history with weight watchers um i went when i was a kid i think i was like 13 or 15 and with my mom and um lost i lost like 30 pounds or 35 pounds in that time and it's actually really good i mean um the program has always been something that's worked for me um but very clearly i don't make it part of my life forever like i, I hit that point where i'm either like i lose a certain amount of weight and i feel good about it or just get lazy and i don't follow it and yeah you know, i always ask myself that question like how do i get to that point where i feel like oh i've, I've done really well I've, I've had a lot of success i've lost a bunch of weight how about I just like stop <laughs> and then gain it all back? And I don't know where that point is, but I'm hoping to be more introspective this time to find out where that point is and avoid it. But I mean, obviously habits are habits and they die hard. So anyways, um, I also went multiple times as an adult. I mean, I swear I would start like every other year for like two or three months, lose a bunch of weight, lose like 20, 30 pounds, and then I would stop, I would stop, I would stop. I've never hit goal. I've never gotten to goal weight and maintained. Like, real, I think losing weight, if I were to really categorize what I think, like, really losing and reaching goal weight is, is to maintain. And that's their biggest thing, is like, the people on this program, and you see very few people on maintenance um, at these Weight Watcher meetings. It's like a lot of people that are in flux and losing weight, but I'd love to see the percentages of the people that actually maintain you know we get to know but uh yeah so today I I well it was actually last night I had the idea that I wanted to um I wanted to work out today so for some reason I got off on my days I was going Monday Wednesday Friday um to work out at Planet Fitness which I've been going and I've been doing this kind of workout routine it's like a circuit it's like a 30 minute circuit where they have a bunch of machines and just trying to get in 30 at least 30 minutes and like even if i do, don't do any cardio it's fine i'm just lift some lifting some weights and just trying to get my heart rate up and i uh, keep the intensity medium medium you know and then maybe once a week go a little bit harder and um but i for some reason i think it was last week Oh, no, no. Yes, I remember now. Yes. So, I went on a work trip. I think I mentioned this in the last video. I went on a work trip. This It was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so, when I got to the hotel on Sunday night, I I normally don't work out on, on Sunday. It's, you know, it's not a time that I usually go to the gym. But I just was really in the mood to go lift and they had a decent workout room there so I worked out and uh it was great but that put me off schedule because I wasn't going to go again on Monday night I was so tired from like all day classes and just trying to focus and so I was just exhausted from the previous uh workout because it was a new gym and so I did some more free weights and different things I normally don't do and so I then I worked out on Tuesday night which was sweet um and then so then I was off, right? So then I was, I came back home on Wednesday and then Thursday morning I went again. And so that put me, I was like, okay, so I'm totally off track now, right? I'm like off one day. And so I, it, I come to think of it, I was like, it's pretty nice. You know, it's a good schedule. Um, I think it works actually better with my life and, and the days that I have off, right? Or, or like my, my work schedule, cause like, Tuesday, I have to work at 8, so that's early, but that's fine. 
Thursday I actually start at 10, so I have like plenty of time to wake up, sleep in a little bit if I want to, if I'm super tired. And then I go to work out at the gym. Like, and then I still have time to make it to work by 10, which is awesome. It's my late day. So that's perfect, actually. And then um, Saturday, you know, Saturday's tricky, right? Because it's family day. It's like I'm trying to spend time with my family. We usually go out and do something fun or just take the kids somewhere or do something. Um, or spend time at home, play, you know, playing with them. And so if, there's just a lot of scheduling things that are hard for, um, like, I realize once I get really involved in these workout programs, I start to, it changes my schedule up and it affects other people. It affects my wife, it affects Sarah, you know, it affects the kids and I don't like, I don't want to make them feel like I don't care about them, but I also want to be successful at this. So it's kind of like this weird, I'm trying to like balance it out, right? So I was, when I was first came to the area, I was looking for Weight Watcher meetings. So there's a couple ways you can do Weight Watchers. You can do it online where you literally just have your phone app you pay, you know, I don't know how much it is a month, but it's cheaper, it's like half price. And you um, you just go to the meeting. Oh no, you don't go to the meeting. You do it from your home. Sorry, my brain is not working very well because I'm so tired from working out. But um, you kind of do it on your own. And they actually send you a scale now when you sign up, which is pretty cool, and you can link it to your phone. And they want you to weigh in and follow the program. And you can do it by yourself. Success has been shown to be worse for, for people that don't do that. Or for people that uh, for people that do the online by themselves, they don't have as good a success as those that come into the meetings. There's something, there's really something cathartic and familiar about going to a place where there's a bunch of other people that are trying to lose weight. Um, and you have, there's like a counselor there that gives, it's like a 30 minute session. You go, you weigh in, you know, whether it's good or bad, you go anyways. And the idea is you, you keep going and you'll lose weight. Like people that go to meetings lose weight. Like there's no doubt. They have the statistics over a large population over decades that the people that consistently go to their meetings every week continue to lose weight um, more efficiently than those that do by themselves. It's just straightforward, right? So, I mean, like I love those kind of like odds, you know, and, um, and, uh, this thing is really shaky. I'm wondering how bad it is. Let's see. Let's look at the video. Um, so, I've always told myself, like, if I'm going to do Weight Watchers, I'm going to go to the meeting, right? Because I just want the best success. It just makes sense, right? Statistically, you do better, so let's just do it, right? So, the first week, it was like, maybe like a month ago. No, maybe three weeks ago. No, it was a month ago. I went to this one meeting, and it was actually... Now, nowadays, um, Weight Watcher meetings, so some of them are held in like an actual physical location, um, like a brick and mortar Weight Watcher store type of thing. It's like a studio, they call them. But the problem is since the pandemic, they've had to shut a ton of them down because they basically had leases on all these places that nobody was going to. And they just decided it's not a good model anymore. Like it's really, less effective right so um now they have a lot of studio meetings inside of hotels so like marriott and some of the other big hotel chains they rent out their ballrooms to have a, these these weekly or even in the middle of the week they'll have because it's a perfect location for these meetings because they're open all the time right hotels are there and they're open all the time so it's it's a great place and a lot of them don't use it like they don't I don't use their ballrooms all the time, so it's perfect. So a lot of them have um, the, uh, as they say, uh, they have uh, meetings where they basically um, have the Weight Watchers studio right there. And it's like you, you come way in and then there's like 30 minutes of, I would say it's like instruction, not really instruction, but it's more like, how was your week? You know, what'd you do? Blah, blah, blah. And then they have like a 15, 20 minute little talk about something and it's helpful, you know, and you get, you get some applause for your success and it's good. 
it feels good like it's one of those things that i look forward to it actually um i think as i get into it more i, I really get into it um because i see that the, the times i've done the best on weight watchers is when i go to the meetings i like that positive feedback it's like we, we like thrive on that positive feedback it really helps us when our family and friends tell us we're doing good we're looking good we love that crap you know and so when we have people tell us that we're doing good we're excited about it so anyways so this week i tried something different and i was i you know immediately thoughts started creeping in um about weighing in so there's a once a week weigh-in right where you actually officially get your number for the week and how much weight you did or didn't lose right and normally i would be really weird about working out on saturdays because for whatever reason in my mind and it's it's just the way it works let's say you you work out right um you're gonna drink a bunch of water like i drink almost a whole bottle of aquafina or i fill up my 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 other bottle and i drink it all and i'm like thinking about that water weight you know i'm like oh no i'm gonna weigh more at the weigh-in and before you know it you're like making all these weird things in your brain it's become, i think they call them we watch just scale games where you're just like i can't do that and then it's like oh i'll be wearing my workout clothes which is pretty light but then i'll have my workout shoes on oh no i can't do that those are heavier but then maybe maybe i can take them off and it's like there's all these things where you're like why am i doing this you know and so I decided just to forget all that crap. And I I woke up early, you know, I was gonna go to the, the meeting at the 8.30 meeting, so I, I left like still after seven. I went and I worked out for 45 minutes or an hour, did my thing, I was, it was a good workout. Lake day, it was super hard. My, my, I did some squats and stuff and it was tough. And, but it was great, you know, I felt really good about it. Um, and then I drank a bunch of water. I wasn't too concerned with that. And then I went to the meeting. I went straight to the meeting. Like in my workout clothes, all sweaty, nasty. By the time I got there, I would cooled off and I wasn't like disgusting. But um, yeah, so I got on the scale and I lost almost two pounds. And like, the truth is, it's not about how much I lost, right? It's all relative. Like, if you change that thing one week, the next week it's fine, right? Like, most likely, if things progress and continue the way they're supposed to, the following week. I'll show just as good a loss, you know? And it's fine, it doesn't matter. So I think that's something that was really kind of a breakthrough for me this week was just how uh, not to let myself fall into the traps that I've fallen into before. So uh, I think, you know, last night there was this, a lot of our family came over and my mother-in-law was visiting and we bought this pizza, like it's a 30 inch pizza. And there was a part of me that's like, I'm not eating the pizza because I have to weigh in tomorrow. And it's like, what the heck, man? I have some points left. I have weekly points left. I'm just going to eat it. And points are Weight Watchers, kind of like calories or whatever. Um, you can... I had some left. I had enough to eat pizza. So I had like two or three slices and it was fine. And I was doing well. And, and I ate the pizza and it was, who cares? You, know, you got to live your life. Like, it's all relative. Like, you can't live your life the day before a weigh-in um, thinking... I'm gonna modify everything just because I'm going on the scale. Like, what's the point? It doesn't do anything, it's fake. It's psychological and it's it's lame. And so I'm just trying to tell myself more and more not to be lame, so. Anyways, that's how this week went. I'm super stoked. I'm down 10 pounds since I started Weight Watchers and working out. 10 pounds ain't no thing, you know? It's, I mean, it's ain't no small thing. It's important and I think it's actually pretty cool to see that progress. So I'm excited and I'm home, that's my job. Or that's my uh, that's my trip. So I'll talk to you guys. I'll probably do it next week. I'm gonna do a little vlog to and from Weight Watchers meeting to home. I think that'll be a good thing for me to try to get some of these feelings out and um, kind of update how I'm doing. It's not always gonna be this long, but I wanted to kind of talk about a few things. So all right, take care. Bye bye.